Silence. 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 The supreme court of the gods has reached its verdict. Sophia, goddess of wisdom and compassion, we find you guilty of the most abominable crime a celestial being can commit. On the planet Lol, you interfered in the lives of mortals. The gravity of your crime will be met with the most severe punishment this court can hand down. Your immortal spirit will be split into two human bodies, and you will be sent to Brighton Marina. gently down the stream. <laughs> Behave. We have to tell the story. So, where to begin our tale? Why not here? Tonight, important journeys start with ourselves. Good point. If we were to travel at the speed of light from Brighton Marina in that direction. No. Uh, I apologise. In uh, uh, that direction, for one million years, we'd arrive at the planet Lol, where on our tale unfolds. Imagine a one million year journey. How would one pass the time? Facebook and Snapchat. Or meditating on the miracle of life. No, bulls and box sets. <clears throat> I present an epic dance and poetry fusion to explore the miracle of life. Oh dear Lord. In space there's nothing else. Nothingness, more nothingness than you can imagine. Unless you've been to Peacehaven. Listen, if we have to tell the story, and <laughs> I still favour the pub option, let's make it, you know, not rubbish. But I'm using multidisciplinary performance arts. Exactly. My way is far more... No, and no, no. No. Uh, let's journey through space from Brighton Marina to Lol. 
millennia turn into millennia, and yet more millennia, and when it seems impossible to travel anymore, like our train journey here. Is that Lol ahead? What, what was this? Getting nearer. No, no, stop, stop it. And nearer. Uh, don't throw it. Oh. And. Stop. Planet Lol. The planet made of gold. Shining in the light of the sun goddess Yamuga, beaming her life giving rays through cloudless skies. Prepare. To land. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. Your way is far too coarse for our cultured audience. Where's the poetry, the art, the meaning? Thank you. If I see them, in Witherspoons, uh, huh? I will text you. No, uh, wait, uh, uh, just a minute. Um. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll compromise. But only because of the situation's importance. How heroic. Rope. No, not rope. Oh, okay. Okay. Descending now to the surface, see below a massive city. The only city on Lol. Circular, with rings around the centre. Like a target. Uh, the middle, the bullseye, if you will, is ring one. Wherein are the most spectacular buildings of the finest gold. Blinding reflections of gold. Blinding reflections of gold. Next to ring one, ring two. Less spectacular buildings, but still impressive. Gold reflecting, gold reflecting. Then ring three. Unspectacular buildings everywhere. No gold reflecting. Except for a tiny sparkle reflecting from a golden coat worn by a woman called Fluke as she runs through the streets. Oh, beyond ring three, the wilds. No gold reflecting whatsoever. Ringless. Swampy. Wherein it is said abide outsiders. Now, to tell the story, we'll translate lol language to English for you. Otherwise, all you would hear would be She says, this is going much better than your idea, Poe face. And asks if anyone's up for clubbing later. Anyone? See me later. As we touch down, bang in the centre of Ring One, we are surrounded by extraordinary, enormous buildings made of solid gold. And here, in a palatial room of the Gold Hotel, decorated with the most exquisite, the most precious gold. A party is in progress, and where the guest of honour, President Malmer, speaks. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you all for such a wonderful party. It seems only yesterday that I had the supreme honour of accepting the role of President of the Gold Company. How 25 years have flown by, and each day I have been vividly aware of how lucky I am to be guiding the company that is at the heart of Planet Lol, mining our planet's gold. Yamuga be praised! Yamuga be praised! And distributing it to the people of Lol, making us the happiest, the healthiest, and the richest planet in the universe. I look forward to humbly continuing my service to the people of the planet for the rest of eternity. That's right, she said eternity. For on Lol, it is said that only bad people die. Across Lol, as the sun sets, lollies are settling down for the evening. Although Lollis haven't invented television sets, they do beam programmes from primitive projectors onto hung-up sheet. Their expression is to watch sheet. They can't get enough of it. Sheet drama, sheet celebs, sheet news, sheet, sheet, sheet. Now, to ring three in a squat where we want you to meet. Fluke, 
and rich who are watching sheet. <laughs> Please, Fluke. You won't smirk when I win the lottery. You tell it every time the lottery's on. It happened. A lovely old former approached me. First, formers don't exist. If you don't want to share my foretold lottery win, that's your call. I need to review your relationship contract soon anyway. I was three, playing in the road, when the former appeared and said I'd win the lottery. Yeah, but no. With the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six. That's what she said. I will be rich, rich. <laughs> if you really believe that, why do you always buy loads of tickets? Because I want to win, Dumbbell. Yeah, but if you're so certain, you should only need to buy one. Logic. I suppose one day we'll all win the lottery. Pardon? Well, because we all live forever. Yes. We will all live through an infinite variety of events. So that must include us all winning the lottery at some time. Even I'll win! Have you been on the smoke hires? Of course. Mm, yeah, I'll buy us a nice gold mansion in ring two. Uh, ring one, why not? A solid gold palace in ring one! Wow! <laughs> so you, you're not going to extend my relationship contract then? When I'm loaded, I'll have my pick. Smirk. Here we go then. Tonight's lucky lottery numbers are... 47. <laughs> 23. 40. I really thought tonight was the night. Oh, sorry, love. Don't go! Take the night off! See you later! And out into the street, Fluke speeds. Hey Fluke, what are you doing? I'm heading for that planet shift. What the heck's a planet shift? A planet shift is when the surface of LOL rips apart along fault lines. And why are you going there? I get stuff from the wreckage. Gold, things in destroyed homes, whatever, to use or sell. You steal from homes where people have been killed. The dead are all bad, so it's not stealing. Well, that's my theory. The golden orb of lol has traversed the wondrous goddess of fire. But once, whence our duo are discovered awaiting some popular musical entertainment. The next night, Rich and Flute queue up to get into a gig. That's what I just said. <laughs> Oh, I'd love to be in a good band. You always say that, then you do nothing about it. No, I don't. Are you in a griddle band? No. Have you ever done anything about being in a griddle band? Yes. You're lying. I can smell your breath from here. That is an old husband's tale that liar's breath smells. Oh, it is truth. <laughs> yourself in the shift last night, didn't you? A bit louder so everyone knows I'm a shifty and no. You've been limping. I don't see you complaining with the swag I bring home. I never complain. But that, that gold projector is stupendous. I hope I always appear as appreciative as I feel. Stupendous? Hmm. What on lol is that? on the white wall of a factory opposite, blurry, moving images. Images beamed from a projector held by a woman called Ruby, who stands strong in the middle of the road. The blurry images on the wall come into focus, revealing a film of Ruby herself. Oh! Oh! oh hello! I'm half a mile underground, hanging over a huge drop, so I'll make this quick. Oh, oh. I'm under the small town of Doss in what used to be a 
a massive gold mine. Oh, oh, oh. X mines like this are the true cause of so-called planet shifts. Oh, it's not rocket science. There's nothing where the gold used to be. So the land above collapses. Sometime soon, I'll bet you're here of a so-called planet shift in DOS. And when you do, remember watching this and help me spread the word that High Places is lying. The film stops because Ruby has seen two police rushing down the road towards her. She grips the projector and runs. Oh, an old lady can sure leg it. Go, girl! <laughs> It's weird though. I, probably every planet shift I've ever been to has been on an old mine. What's that got to do with the price of fish? Seven days later, in uh, the no, hang, on, hang on, hang on. What? We haven't got time. The pods do close in Brighton Marine, you know. No. We've uh, forgotten someone. Oh! Mm. Oh, that's a thing. Yeah, so you. Yeah, so there's a there's another character called Sophia, and she sort of rented a room from Rich and Fluke. She didn't sort of rent it. She rented a room from Fluke and Rich, and she's a uh, talks like. Um, Hello, I'm Sophia. Is that how I stroke we sound in real life? Yes. I'm just popping out for a bit. Oh. Rich and Flute nicknamed her Chariot. Sorry? Chariots of Fire. Chariots of Fire? <laughs> anyway, she lived with Rich and Fluke. Onwards, seven days later, in the middle of the night, a planet shift very close to Fluke and Rich's place. As ever, Fluke runs towards the danger. In all my time as a shifty, I've never seen such devastation and carnage. But it's bloody good for business! <laughs> in ring one, in her spectacular home, Gold Company President Melma has been woken. What's the problem? This better be good. President, the largest planet shift ever recorded has occurred under a town called Dos. Large X mine there. Eh? President, um, land collapse of about a hundred square metres. That's nothing. Cause collapses radiating outwards from the centre at the speed of smell. Right. Most of the buildings in the west of Dos have been affected. Okay. Summary. The town of Dos ha has been rent in twain. Numerous fatalities inevitable? Numerous fatalities are inevitable. Well, Yamuga works in mysterious ways. Oh, look at the window. How ironic, in the midst of tragedy, a beautiful misty dawn. Oh, the mist is dust, President. The, the planet shift has thrown tons of dust into the atmosphere. It's raining gold. Yamuga be praised. Yamuga be praised. Dust is a must. Film lady was bang on about Dos. I've never seen so many death trucks caught in the dead away. Got to burn the bad as quick as possible, lest they infect others. So, planet shifts, what do you reckon? Planet shifts occur along faults, where gold masses move in relation to one another. School. You can remember that, but you can't remember where the tea towels are. I wonder if I can track down film lady. And as if by magic... <laughs> Sophia was there. Are you looking for Ruby? Eh? The film lady. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I'd like to speak to her sometime. 
She'll be around the corner in one minute. What? Around the corner, she'll be there. Uh, okay. Back in the low, Rich. soon, the total collapse is a near mathematical certainty. The what is a what now? Soon, a major collapse, similar to DOS, will trigger other collapses until they become unstoppable, creating what I call the total collapse. The, the planet will crack completely apart. Gravity and atmosphere will be disrupted and living beings will fly off into airless space, dying painful and horrible deaths. <laughs> it's fact. If people knew the truth, they would act. Gold mining is causing our destruction. Will you help me spread the word? Hand out leaflets, chunk. There's maps of X mines from official gold company data Detailed schematics. This shows where all the old mines are. Indeed. Yes, actually, this is what I wanted to ask you. Which is the next one to go? Sorry? Which is the next mine to collapse? Oh, well, it, it's not exactly possible to predict. Um, it, it's just, uh, I'm a shifty. If I had the heads up which one was next, I'd be quids in. Get it before everyone else and uh, crud, you see? No, no, that's... Oh, um, I'll cut you in a course. Yeah. Healthy percentage. No. Thank you. Oh, okay. Well, let me know if you change your mind. Mm. I'll um, hang on to this anyway, yeah? I'll, I'll give it a good read. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, on another planet. <coughs> Second draw on the left. Uh, no, no idea. The tea towels. I didn't even look. <laughs> It's just too close to call. Lovable charmer or brainless buffoon. Is there any, uh, any crud about? I didn't see. Quite. Film lady turns out to be a crazy Maisie, babbling about the total collapse, the which she total reckons Total collapse? I love it. You do? Yeah. I'm, uh, thinking up a name for my good man. Uh, Sophia, um, um, I've written an ode, which I'd like to... Sophia? Pub? Has half of the supreme immortal goddess of compassion and wisdom since the first second of time? I really don't think you should be going down the boozer. Well, with respect, you've not tried it. And clubbing, seriously. Come with! Someone here has scored some disco biscuits and we're going to go to West Street and we're going to get whacked! It'll be crunk! <laughs> Maybe we're wasting our time on this planet. <laughs> Over the next few weeks, Lol was shaken by more planet shifts than anyone could remember. And then, on what became known as Tragic Tuesday, a huge planet shift across the east of Lol City triggered other collapses heading north through all rings and out through the wilds and into the sea. Don't forget tonight's Lottery Night. Sponsored by the Gold Bank. Bankers to the planet. All right. Are you all right? Oh, I'm totally knackered, but we're considerably wealthier. Oh, nice. I made a stew. Oh, good job. <laughs> oh, hey, got bags of gold, mate. Coolio. <laughs> oh, never 
never seen so many dead though. They're bad though. All of them, really. Of course. High priestess was on. Said all deaths were Yamuga's punishment for the bad. Even the little ones. Yeah. Crazy Maisie was bang on about the ex-mind thing again, which I have to say is doing my taters a bit. Rich, uh, well. What's the news? We're hearing uh, that terrorists from the wilds may be responsible for some of the devastation. More on this later. Melbourne was on, praising the brave emergency services. They said they wouldn't get a pay rise. And breaking news, an expert speculates that it might not have been planet shifts at all today. Yeah? Rather a mighty underground wind. Well, something you're an expert on then. And the gold index is up five points. Hmm. Uh, Rich, can you pull nearer? Yeah, but I'm watching this. Mate. <sighs> sake. Film lady? Hi. Oh, do you know where the next shift is? What? Uh, no, sorry. Um, I, I wonder if we could have a little chat. How do you know where I live? Uh, you told me. Uh, I don't tell anyone. Anyway, <laughs> I wondered if you'd read that leaflet and, and thought any more about joining us. No, sorry. Thanks for calling. It's just that you said every planet ship you'd been to was on an old mine, so I thought you might understand. Yeah, and that's true. When I saw your film, I realised every planet shift I'd ever... But I never said that to you. Sorry? You never heard me say every planet shift... Oh, well, that doesn't matter. If you agree generally with my theorem about planet shifts, it must have crossed your mind that high places is lying. Therefore... High places lies about planet shifts cause thousands of deaths. Well, that's a bit extreme, mate. It's Yamuga's truth. How many dead have you seen on your rounds? High places know exactly what they're doing. I should know, because I was there. Where? What are you on about? To understand, we need to go back. Back. Back in time. Nice music. Back 20 years to Gold Company HQ. Look, there's President Melba and me. You look so young. I was. Youngest ever chief government scientist. <clears throat> we need to discuss the most urgent issue facing our planet. Coffee or water? We have some wonderful, delicately flavoured cordials. <clears throat> Our extensive experiments have proven conclusively that recent land collapses have been caused by disused mines being left unsafe after extraction. The gold company is therefore liable for the deaths of many hundreds of people. At the gold company, safety is our most important concern. And our scientists have, with far more resources than the government, I has to guess, proved exactly the opposite of what you state. Uh, if your findings are made public, unfortunately I'd have no option than to sue you personally as the architect of falsehoods and sneers. Are you sure you won't try a cordial? If depleted mines are left unsafe, the land above will inevitably collapse and Lolos will die. I admire your mind, Ruby, your conviction, your love of science. Oh, I am truly humbled to be in your presence. Look out there, all of lull below us. Yamuga be praised. Yamuga be praised. What do you see, Ruby? I see that lull is gold. Look at the gold traffic machines, the buildings. I need us to address the collapses. Oh, forgive me. In my roundabout way, I am. I'm saying, lol is gold, and gold is Yamuga made war manifest on lol, and the gold company has the sacred duty to do her work. You 
thought of training for the priestesshood, didn't you? How do you know that? Ah, here's where the conversation takes an unexpected turn. Why don't you come and work for us? If you had access to our researchers, our equipment, you could work with us to identify any safety problems. That's not what I came for. Oh, of course it's not. The words have only the second come out of my mouth. And I'm certain, for a woman like you, a scientist, salary is not your motivation. <laughs> Though we could pay you five times what you earn now, plus a company house in Ring One. <laughs> Can you do lunch? And so I... I worked for the gold company. I invented false science, including the planet shifts, and it made me obscenely rich. Well, it's your mess, isn't it? Well, yes. So you sort it out. So, so I'm, I'm trying. This is me trying. But I, I need help. Do you believe that High Places is lying about planet shifts? Well, yeah, I guess, maybe. And you've seen the suffering it brings. I don't know, mate. Well, what would I do? Very simple things. I'm so frantic at the moment with all these planet Just shifts. Spare a few minutes, please. Saved by the shift. Class. We should call them. I'll pop back later. No, don't. Okay, maybe I get about planet ships, but your total collapse thing I'll is... I'll show you my charts, calculations and equations. Do you believe we live forever? Well, of course. So it follows that when a total collapse happens, you will therefore suffer forever. Oh. Rich will suffer! When Fluke got to the planet ships, police had already cordoned off the area. Many deck trucks had sped in and away with their ghastly cargo. Hey, 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 Crowder! Uh, police! There's someone still alive down there! A kid! Empty-handed and muddled-brained, Fluke headed homewards. But on approaching her squad, a death truck pulls away. No. Where their squat had been? A huge hole. No. Blood. Rich. Devastation. Rich. Rich. Learn the truth about Planet Shift. Gold Company lies. Oh, it's Leaflet, madam. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> Save lol. Uh, leaflet. Save lol. Sir, oh, uh, Leaflet, sir. If you don't like living here, why don't you move to the moon? Why don't you stick this leaf away, your moon that doesn't shine? Learn the truth about planet shifts. Oh, good on you. We stop buying anything with gold in it. Oh, nice one. <laughs> Save the planet. Save lol. Save the... Oh, leaf the madam. Oh, stop harassing me, terrorists. No harassment, madam. I'm simply trying to spread we the truth. We always had planet shifts. Always have, always will. But it's a scientific oh, fact. Oh, here we go. Science. You people believe gold is evil. Nothing is evil about gold in itself. But taking it out the ground is destroying the planet. Do you want to be responsible for that? What's it got to do with me? We need gold. It's how we live. It's how your Moogle wants us to live. Oh, you Mooga can't want us to destroy her planet! Stop. Actually, you have changed my mind. I was going to buy a few groceries, but now I'm going to buy four 50 carat gold dresses, a set of gold saucepans, which we don't really need, and the latest extra large gold embroidered sheet. Have a nice day. <laughs> Enough 
people and everyone is so rude. Especially me. We need a better plan. Calm down, Flu. You know, today I only got one person to sign up. Hello. Two, actually. Take a deep breath and relax. Oh. I, I know you've um, been through a lot. I'm fine. I just want to get on with things. We're not getting through, Ruby. You've been doing incredibly well. You've only been doing this for two weeks and you've already got ten new people on the team. Only ten? <sighs> Why don't you take the night off? Have a bath. Where are you living now? Here and there. Don't worry about it. You're not still sleeping rough. I'm a big girl, I can cope. Look, you're, you're very welcome to stay Ruby, here. this is a crisis and we're failing. Right, look, when you worked at High Places, how did you get your message over? Well, we had everything. Sheet! We need to be on sheet! How am I not? We need to be on sheet! <sighs> Only four of us, I can't believe it. But we did it! You, me, Weedy, Jim and Ancient Annie. We've blocked the entrance and they can't bring any gold out, all because of your brilliant idea. Should we go then? Oh, we can't because we're super glued to the mine's gates. You're a genius. Genius twitoid. I'm doing myself out of a job. Stopping planning shifts is going to make me redundant. the gold company. You told Mama about the total collapse, obviously. I did. And she did nothing. Hmm. She knows what's happening and she can sleep at night. So you resigned? And... Well, uh, I was going to. But um, before I could, they murdered me. I'm a former. You're adding me on. So formers do exist? Well, I'm living proof. Well, dying proof. You don't look dead at all. Oh, thank you very much. I really never would have guessed. Ooh, that, that's good to know. Rich never believed in formers. But you being dead, doesn't that make you bad? What do you think? I've lost track of what I think. I never for a million years thought Rich was bad. Deeply weird, but, but not bad. And if he wasn't bad, what about everyone else? If we pull this off, if by some miracle we stop the gold coming out of the ground, I mean forever, not just today, everything will change. The way we live. What's it going to look like? If your house is on fire, you don't stand around wondering what colour to paint the walls once it's rebuilt. So you don't know? Well, not exactly, no. But we're in the terrible situation we are because I hide places rule over us with lies. Therefore, logic dictates that in an honest future, everything will become more equal and, well, happy. You're well into your therefores and your logic dictates, aren't you? Well, that's science. So how do you explain formers? No idea. Crud! Where's sheet? There's three trucks. Four. A truckload for each of us. We'll be pulped. Well, well I, of course, won't actually be pulped due to my former nature. Well, that's a boon. Good luck. What? Uh, Ruby, you just walked through the gate. Uh, how did you... Ruby? Ruby? new home. Two steps. 
by two by two. No windows, oh, solid walls, an hour a day exercise. On the plus side, the room service is superb. No visitors, of course. Hi. <gasps> oh, except the see-through ones. You scared the shit out of me. Oh, but I, I'm not exactly see-through. Rather, my lifetime constitution is diluted by compositional elements. Whatever. Which, um, <laughs> I find it fascinating. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry about your shit being scared. How are you? Bad, thanks. I miss my old life and I wish I'd never met you apart from that. Yes, well, it's, um, it's a tricky road we've chosen to travel. It's a no-through road, mate. Well, I, I know it seems like that now. Because it is. Everything is rigged against us and we can't win. <gasps> well, I'm holding on to two things. One, the indisputable fact that this terrible situation we're in is made by beings and not Yamuga, therefore it can be unmade. Rockin! And two, Melma knows what's happening. And that's good, why? I don't know. But I, I feel like there's something there. We know that Melma knows what's happening. Wake me up when you've finished. We know Melma knows. It's no good that we know that Melma knows. We need everyone to know what Melma knows. I know. So, how do we let everyone know what Melma knows? We don't know. Oh, I know. How? No, sorry. Unless you can invent a machine to broadcast Melma's thoughts to the entire planet. Yes. You've got it. I have. Well, at least things can't get any weirder. Hello, Fluke. Sophia? No. I'm a guard. Here's a camera. You're free to go. Okay. <laughs> Gold Company HQ. Hello, Malma. Ruby. Oh, bless my soul. I haven't seen you since I shot you thrice in the back of your head. How did you get past the anti-former security system? I used the doorway from a different time. Nice. And I'm holding a grenade. Ah. Oh. Any false moves and I'll explode it. You'll be smithereens while I'll still be standing here. <clears throat> I have some questions for you. Are you ready? Uh, I'm sorry. Just answer the questions. Okay. We invented the term planet shifts, didn't we? Uh, yes, we made up planet shifts. To dupe people. To dupe people isn't quite the right term. To calm them. More like ignorance being bliss. You never wanted to make X mind safe, did you? Why are you doing this? Just answer the question. There's nothing I'd love more than to make all the old mines safe. At the Gold Company, safety is our most important concern. But it simply costs too much. Impacts profits. You know old mines will collapse and loggers will be killed. Yes. And somebody got handsomely rewarded for helping me until she got all conscientious in Melma. You know the planet is going to explode. I do. You'll die with everyone else. Why don't you do something about it? Guards, she has a grenade! Melma ducks for cover as Ruby heads towards the doorway from a different time and, like a sheet film, just makes it through before the door turns back to solid wall, which the guard's bullets ricochet off, smashing three bottles of cordial. <laughs> After sundown, the rebels show Ruby and Fluke's film on hundreds of walls throughout the city. 
We invented the term planet shifts. Uh, yes, we made up planet shifts. To dupe people. You never wanted to make X mind safe. But it simply costs too much. Impacts profits. You know old minds will collapse and lollers will be killed. Yes. You know old minds will collapse and lollers will be killed. Yes. Fluke, let's call it a day. Quit while we're ahead. Well, another hour. No, you need to go home, I insist. I've still not got a place, actually. You're wrong. Sophia and I have sorted it out. You know Sophia? Well, a little. You'll have to share a room, but it's a safe place. Thanks. Next, it's Mega Mega Maltery Night. Uh, hello? Uh, Ruby said it was okay for me to stay here. Rich? I need to cut down on the Smokies. Are you a former? No. You? No, you? It's me, you clod! And I'm me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fruitcake happened? When? Uh, you, your men and the old gaff. Oh, yeah. I was really lucky. So I was, I was watching sheep. And then I crossed the room to get my smokies. And then... Just where I've been. And you said smoking was bad for me. I came back, I thought you'd been killed. No, I hadn't. There was a lot of blood. Was there? Oh yeah. I cut myself shaving. I kept going back to the gap for days. Where have you been? With Ruby, protesting. Been in prison. Protesting is wrong. Well, we all need to take some action for the planet. Yeah. I worked out what I'm going to do. You have? Yeah. So I'm going to spend my time getting out of my brain. Like smoke eyes, liquid eyes, eyes we've never even tried. What's to lose? Because, eh, if the planet crashes and burns, I'll be high when it pops. And two, if everything's all right, I would have had a great time. Plus, I thought I'd start a griddle band. You are a piece of work. Cheers. Rich, we must stop taking gold out the ground. <laughs> you sound like one of them. If we don't take gold out the ground, we die. No, Rich, we don't eat gold. Oh, so thanks. I was going to have a nice golden juicy nugget for me tea. Though there are chicken nuggets. I mean, we eat food, not gold. Yeah, so but we buy food with gold. How do I get paid every week if I want any gold? True, though you'd have to get a job first. Precisely. Look, you've got to agree that high places are lying about planet ships. Well, why on law would they? Okay, look at the map of this leaflet. Every collapse in the last month you has been thought. on the site of... Burned leaflets into the house. Are you out of your tiny, stupid bunts? Two words for you. Relationship contracts. And two words for you. Maybe I don't care. I should contact Crud. Go on then. I will. Fine. <laughs> Where are you going? Find somewhere else to live. God!
Braves, Rich and Fluke, to the Gold Hotel, bang, in the centre of Ring One. They stand on the penthouse suite balcony. What just happened, Rich? You're foretelling became foretold. What does a hundred tons of gold even look like? Where we put it? A mate of mine's got a lock on. Oh. A protest? Your lock causing more trouble. No, wait. They're waving. They've got a sign. I heart fluke. Stone me. I'm a cacking celebrity. Midnight merges into mysterious moments. That sacred time halfway betwixt dusk and dawn, where dreamers dream. Fluke. Fluke, what are you doing? Digging in golden sand and finding a hundred tons of gold. But you were trying to save love. I still am. I just got lucky. I'm made for eternity. <laughs> but you've been telling people to keep the gold in the ground. Is that Sophia? No. Are you my guilty conscience? Are you guilty? No. You've won 100 tons of gold. I oh, know! <laughs> 100 tons of gold dug out of the ground just for you. I could use some to help the fight against taking gold out of the ground. What if it's your 100 tons of gold that sets off the total collapse? Maeve, can I dream about ice cream now, please? If you refuse the gold on live sheep in front of the entire nation, you alone can save the planet. You alone can save the planet. You alone can... Okay, I heard you. Just making sure. You have the perfect opportunity. Lol's existence is in your hands. Your hands. All right! Scale last night, Rich. What? <laughs> oh. Mm. oh. <laughs> it's true what they say. Wealth really is an Afro comb. Yeah, wealth is an Afro comb. Look, we've done all right, haven't we? Being potless. What? Oh, we've. Mucked along together through the years. Hmm? Uh, we've not needed a hundred tons of gold. Eh? We've not had too much money, but we've not had too many rounds. Oh, yeah, sure. But now we, you, possess unimaginable wealth. All them Afro combs. <laughs> As they prepare to leave for the Lultry studio, where she will be presented with 100 tons of gold live on sheet, Fluke finds that Sophia has planted a speech in her brain. I refuse this gold. We're destroying law. As she and Rich are driven through the streets, the words echo around her head. Our whole planet is at risk because of how we live. As she is spitted for a golden dress. Our places knows what's happening. They're lying to us. As she re rehearses walking up the golden pathway to prize heaven. We have to take control ourselves to save ourselves. And then, it's showtime. <sighs> now, welcome to the lottery winner's big night outstage. 
the luckiest woman on the planet, the very gorgeous Flu! Flu, a new love will be beautiful. And you can make it happen, Fluke. Now, my sweetheart, to claim your 100 tons of gold, all you have to do is open the golden doorway to prize heaven. Can you manage that? Yes. Great, but first, tell the audience what you're going to do with that staggering, low record, 100 tons of gold. Okay. Take your time, my angel. But hurry up, a bit! <laughs> what are you gonna do with all that gold? Okay, well, fluke. Save the planet. I refuse this gold. We're destroying, lol. Our whole planet is at risk because of how we live. High places know what's happening. They're lying to us. We have to take control ourselves to save ourselves. Fluke did not say, but rather. I'll buy three houses in Ring One, a collection of gold traffic machines, and the wedding of the century to my beloved Rich. <laughs>
die. The good news is we already know what to do. Keep the gold in the ground and work together to make a happier, more equal way of living. <sighs> Far too cliched. I like it. And last and least. Rich formed his band. How's it going, all right? We are a hundred tons of gold! Is this the end? Is this the end? Is this the end? This is the end. This is the end. This is the end. This is the end. Is this the end? Can we mend? Can we mend? Leave me to fend. Leave me to fend. Can we mend? Can we mend? Leave me to fend. Leave me to fend. Send me round the bend. Is this the end? Is this the end? Is this the end? This is the end. This is the end. This is the end. This is the end. Is this the end? Are you my friend? Are you my friend? Spend and pretend. Spend and pretend. Are you my friend? Are you my friend? Spend and pretend, send me round the bend. Is this the end? Is this the end? Is this the end? This is the end. This is the end. This is the end. This is the end. Is this the end? Is it?